Hello everybody, welcome back to this Python project. In this Python project, we create an audiobook program by using Python. This Python project is all about converting any PDF book to audiobook. I think you may know about what are audiobooks and the use of them. So, this project is writing a Python program which helps us to convert books to audio files. Okay, to start this Python project, first you need to select your favorite Python ID. For me, I use PyCharm Python ID and also I recommend you to use PyCharm for more simplicity of this PyCharm Python ID. Now I open PyCharm and start coding by creating a new Python file. Okay, I am in PyCharm homepage and I create a new file. For that, I click this at the top. I click this file and select this new. After that, I select this Python file. Then it asks me to give the Python file name. So I give the name audio book. I give this name for my file. You can give any name you want to for your Python file. After that, when I hit enter, it creates a blank new page like this. Okay, now I can start this audiobook Python project by importing important Python modules. For this Python project, I use two important Python modules. The first one is PyPDF2. I use this Python module to read and extract PDF files as text document. So using this PyPDF2 Python module is important for this creating audiobook projects. Okay, the second important Python module I use for this Python project is PYTTSX3. I use this PYTTSX3 Python module for converting text to speech. The main use of this PYTTSX3 Python module is converting any text which extracted from PDF to speech. So I use this Python module to convert books to audio book. Okay, both PYPDF2 and PYTTSX3 Python modules are not built in Python modules. For that, you need to install them to use in this Python project. Okay, for that to install both of them, you can use a terminal section at the bottom of the PyCharm page. You can use this terminal section to install both PYPDF2 and PYTTSX3 Python module. Okay, when you click this terminal, it opens your Python file path. After that, you can install those Python modules by writing pip install command. To install PYPDF2, you write pip install pip install pypdf2 and you hit enter it starts downloading and install it automatically to your python project like that you can also install pyttsx3 to install this pyttsx3 python module you need to write pip install pyttsx3 and you hit enter is the same it downloads and install automatically to your Python project. Okay, after you finish this process, the next point is importing those important Python modules to this Python project. So to import PYPDF2 Python module, I write import PYPDF2 like this. Import PYPDF2. I write like this and import this Python module. And to import the PYTTSX3 Python module, I write the same way. Import PYTTSX3 like this. Import PYTTSX3. Okay, after that, I create an object by using this PYTTSX3 Python module. For that, I give the object name engine. You can give any name. I write engine equals PYTTSX3 dot in it. I give the object name engine. If you give another name, you can give any name. For this, I give the object name engine. So this code helps us to initialize the PYTTSX3 Python module. After that, I create another object by using PYPDF2. PYPDF2 Python module to open and read the PDF file. Okay, I call it PDF reader. I call this object name PDF reader so pdf reader equals py pdf to python module dot pdf file reader like this 
PDF reader equals pypdf2.pdf file reader. And inside this parenthesis, I pass open file command by writing by writing my PDF file name and the more to open the file. For that, I write inside a double quote my PDF file name, which is what is Python. This is my PDF file name. What is Python? I write like this. What is Python dot PDF and the mode. I pass the mode RB like that. Read binary mode. So the code looks like this. The total code looks like this. PDF underscore reader equals pi PDF2. This is the Python module. We import first dot PDF file reader with this class and inside this parenthesis with open function and inside this we pass our file name and the mode to read that is what is python.pdf is my file name and rb is the mode so that means read binary mode okay now i wanted to extract extracts from all pdf pages before converting to speech and save all the extracted texts in the variable text for that i use the for loop to extract all pages from the pdf file so i write by using the for loop for page underscore name in a range i use the range function and i pass inside this range function i pass pdf reader dot num pages i pass this pdf reader dot num pages inside this range parentheses for page underscore name in a range and i pass pdf reader dot num pages after that I put colon for the indentation at the end of this for loop. After that, I create a text variable inside this for loop that saves the extracted text from the PDF file. For that, I write text text equals PDF reader dot get page. And inside this get page function, I pass page num. After that, I pass this dot extract text i add this function extract text dot extract text so this text variable looks like this text equals pdf reader dot get page and inside this get page function i pass page number and dot extract text like this as you see this is the code and which saves us a text text is a variable Okay, now we finish this text extraction process from PDF files. The next is converting this text to speech by using PYTT SX3 Python module. For that, now I wanted to check this text by saying or by reading or by listening with my computer voice. To do that, I write inside this for loop engine.say. I use this function engine.say and I pass the text inside this parenthesis. The variable I created above like this engine.say and I pass text and to wait it engine.run and wait I use this function this function helps to speak and wait so this engine.run and wait code is also important okay now I finish this code the next point is running and Learn see python. how this program what is python? works for that I okay, run when it when we come to th is question and what as is you see it starts Programming to convert the pdf to speak python. Or is a widely it's an interpreted to create level programming book. language, which is created by Guido Van Rossum in the late 1980s. P. Python programming language places strong emphasis. So you can on create any audio book by importing and any book to this. It possible program. for programmers to this develop program applications rapidly, perfectly. like all high level programming languages, Python. Code resembles the English language which now this program converts the PDF file to the live voice. So, However, if you want to write in Python the voice in audio format, interpreted that means by a special program known as Python or get the audio interpreter, with MP3 which format will have to install before on your computer, can, you can also do with Python this Python program. For that, now I wanted to comment these two lines. That means I will comment this engine.say code and this engine.run and wait. I comment this. And inside this for loop, I write another code, which is engine dot save to file like this engine dot save to file. And I pass text inside this save to file function and the file name to save the audio with MP3. 
So I give the audio file name audio.mp3 inside a double quote. You can give any name. For this, I give audio.mp3 inside a double quote. So engine.save to file, I pass text and I give the audio file name audio.mp3. And after that, I write engine.run and wait function. I use this function engine.run and wait like this. And now when I run this code, it converts the PDF takers to speech and save in the audio file in the same folder of this Python project. When you check this file, as you see, it converts this PDF file to this audio file. So this Python project is all about creating audio book by using those two Python modules. I think you get some concepts about this Python project. Thanks for your time. I'll see you in the next Python project. Thanks again.